Let's see how to fix black screen error on Windows 10. So press Ctrl Alt Delete it at once. So in the list uh, we need to choose Task Manager. So Task Managers uh, could open in the small mode. So just quick click on Quick Details. So now click on File and run New Task. Now follow my screen. Click on Browse button and in the C drive choose this file. System32 and CMD. Okay, so choose this file. Click on OK. So it will open command prompt window. Now type this command R reg edit. So click yes when prompted. Now again this registry editor will open up. Now follow my screen. We need to find um, win log on shell so in windows nt current version then press w maybe oh yes win log on so expand it okay in the right side there is a uh, there is there is an entry for shell so double click on it or maybe right click on it and click modify so now we have to restore the value just type hyphen and ok and again click on modify and type explorer dot exe okay so it this will just refresh the key this is really important okay now close uh, now do we have to do anything here I think we're good. Okay, now uh, on the command prompt window, type this command. Okay, SFC scan now. Oh, we need to run as an administrator. Okay, let's close this. Okay, again click on file, run new task. Just uh, the the command is already there. Just click on administrator privileges. Okay, so retype the command SFC scan now now this will start executing so this will take a while so so meanwhile so meanwhile we uh, will execute one more command in parallel so mm -hmm. we we'll just let this run on this uh, window um, Just go to task manager again, click on file, run new task, o o check administrative privileges, click on OK. Now on this window type this command chkdsk, ok. Now you can pause this uh, video here, still this completes because the next steps are re really important. Okay. Now chkdsk is done. So let's see what's the status. Okay, you can pause the video here. So now it is, uh, the command is completed uh, successfully. Now go back to task manager. Click on new task. Mm. Now type this command. Click on OK. So it will open MS config now. Open boot tab. Now you should see an option to uh, for safe mode. Let's check on it. I mean enable it and click on OK. Now click on restart button uh, dialog here. Again pause this window till you uh, get into safe mode. So now I am into safe mode now. Okay. Now what we have to do is. Um, we have to uh, eliminate all the programs uh, which are not necessary, uh, we, which we don't really use. So, in the search menu, in the start button, uh, type control panel, so open control panel, so make it as uh, you know, category view, 
click on uninstall programs and just uninstall all the programs which are not necessary you know like for one drive i don't use it so i'm good to uninstall it so so this will actually you know remove all the traces of programs which we don't really use but it you know results uh, you know it, it interferes it interferes with you know and uh, booting of the computer so it's good to you know uh, get rid of them okay now let's just restart the machine oh b before restarting the machine let's uh, open ms config again just press windows key and r key together and type ms config window there now go to boot tab again and disable safe mode now apply it and click on ok now click on restart and it will restart into normal uh, uh, mode okay we can see that the error is gone